All right, so let's have a look at the pH in the different sections of the digestive system and what sort of impact that'll have. Um, now, before we move on, let's have a, just remember, remind ourselves that pH is the power of hydrogen ions. In other words, how strong is their impact? How much of an effect can they have on the chemistry of the environment? Um, so let's have a quick look. The stomach has a pH of roughly three, and this is due to the large amount of hydrochloric acid which is in there. Um, the pH of your small intestine has a pH of about 8, and that's because it's neutralized. Um, so the stomach has an acidic environment which kills bacteria. It also has pepsin in there. Now, pepsin is the enzyme which breaks down proteins or digests proteins, and this, this enzyme is only active at a low pH. So if it's in an area with a high pH, so if you were trying to break down your enzymes, um, proteins in your small intestine, it would work because the pepsin won't work. Now, bile is alkaline, so this um, gets added at the duodenum, and this neutralizes the stomach acid. Um, bile also emulsifies the fats, and that means it takes it and puts it into little tiny balls. Um, so the small intestine, that's what SI stands for, the enzymes, they are active in an alkaline environment. So let's have a quick look at the at three of them, three of the main ones. First, you've got protease, and this breaks down proteins even further. They don't get completely broken down in the stomach, so they get broken down into amino acids a little bit further. Then you have amylase, and amylase is really good. It digests carbohydrates into sugars. Now you also have carb uh, amylase in your saliva, which is why if you chew on a bread piece of, piece of bread long enough, it will go sweet. And then you have lipase. Now fats are called lipids, that's the proper name for them, um, and it digests fats once they've been put into those smaller balls that so have been broken down a bit uh, by the bile. It digests fats into fatty acids, which are their component parts. Remember digestion takes monomers, in sorry, polymers into monomers. All right, I hope that made perfect sense. Uh, check your notes, go over them, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below, and we'll get to you as quick as we can.